permutation helps us to find all the number of possible arrangements when the order of arrangement do matters. It means that now, if we have the alphabet of teachers, T-E-A-C-H-E-R. If I try to rearrange the letters, I will get something like cheater. Although they have the same alphabets, but because of the arrangement is different, we will say that they are not the same for permutations. And when we have two kinds of permutations, the first one is permutation with repetitions. It means that every of the items can be used more than once. The one that we have repetition means that the item can only be used once. Let's say we have one, two, and three. We can rearrange it to form different kind of numbers. But since this is repetitions, we can use more than once. Like here, we have one, one, one. We use three times. If now it's real repetitions, all of the number can only be used once. Can you see that? No number is repeating. Let's go for permutation with repetition first. All of you, I believe, you will set a passcode in your phone. Let's say you set a four digit passcode. How many total of arrangement that do we have here? We're going to prepare four slot first. And always the first thing we need to know what are the available choices that provide to us. So for this phone, they provide us with 0, 1, 2, 3, until 9. So we have 10 available numbers to choose. So I have 10 ways to choose the first numbers. But since we can repeat the same numbers, so the second number can also have 10 choices, same as third and fourth. And we learn multiplication rules, we just need to times to find the total possible arrangement, which is 10 to the power of 4, basically just 10,000. So if I don't know your password, I can just have a 10,000 of trials, 100% one of the combination must be your password. So if you want to learn the notations, we can write it as P bracket NR, which it means that P is permutation where order do matters, N is the number of choices that provide to us. Like just now, we have 10 choices. R means that out of the 10 items, how many items that we pick? Like just now, we can write it as permutation of they provide us with 10 choices, so n is 10, and we only pick 4 numbers. So r is 4, is equivalent to n power of r. So 10 power of 4, which is basically just 10,000. So this is how you write down the notations. We're going to use whatever that we have learned to find out that how many ways we can choose at alpha numeric password for this lock. Alpha numeric means that we compose of alphabet, and numbers. So since we're going to choose add numbers, we're going to have add slot first, and we always need to know how many choices are available to us. But since this is alphanumeric, we can choose either alphabet or number for each of the slot. As we know, we have 26 alphabets from A to Z, and we have 10 numbers to choose from 0 to 9. So since we see the word or, we can use addition rules. Means that all together we have 36 choices for each of the slots. So let us fill up each of the slot first and we're going to use multiplication rules to find out what are the total possible arrangement. Now we can write on the formula of permutations of n r. n means that the number of choices. For here we have 36 choices and how many slots that we are picking? We have add slots. So the formula is n to the power of r, right? So we are going to have 36 to the power of 8. So eventually they will sum up to a very huge number. It's basically tell us that we have 2.82 trillion ways to rearrange this at alpha numeric password. As you can see, we have more choices. They will give us more combinations, which is a safer for the users. Now we're going to look at permutation without repetitions. Let's say we have Pikachu, SpongeBob, and Minion. And we're going to find out that how many ways we can rearrange the position of them. So we have three slots, first position, second, and third. So we're going to fill up the first position first, but how many available choices to us? As we can see here, we have three available choices to pick. So let's say I pick SpongeBob as my first position. But once I pick SpongeBob, it's no longer available to the second position. So now we left with only two choices, which is Pikachu or Minion. So let's say I pick Pikachu. So after I pick Pikachu, it's going to be slashed off from the choices. And now the third position, of course, left with only one choice, 
which is minion. So in order to find the total weight of arrangement, we can use the multiplication rules, which we say that the first positions, we have three ways to choose, and second position, we have two ways, and the third position is only have one way. So if it times all together, we have six possible arrangements. But this kind of multiplications, do you realize that the number of choices decreases from the first to the third positions until that only one choice is left. And this kind of multiplications, we can simplify to say is eventually a factorials. Factorials can be represented by a symbols of exclamation marks. So for this case, we can just write down as three factorials. Why is it between this kind of is Because let's say we have 50 choices, we you want to write down as 50 times 49 times 48 until one? No, right? This is why we can simplify as factorials. So 3 factorial means that it's 3 times 2 times 1. As you can guess, 4 factorial means 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And same thing, 5 factorial means is 5 times 4 times 3 and all the way until 1 because of the choices is keep decreasing over the time. So factorials means nothing but just the number of choices decreases. But the thing here is, n cannot be a negative numbers. And two things that you need to remember is, zero factorials means one, and one factorial means one. Let's explore what if now we have choices more than the slots available. So for this case, we have five cartoons here, but we're only going to pick two of them for the arrangement. So for first pick, how many choices is available? As we can see here, we have five cartoons to choose. So we have five choices. Let's say I love Doraemon. So after I pick Doraemon, Doraemon is no longer available to choose for second pick. So Doraemon is going to stash off from the choices. So we're left with four choices. So now let's say I pick Minion. So altogether we have how many arrangements when we have five objects and we choose two. So we can use multiplication rules. So we can say that the first pick, we have five number of ways to do. And for second pick, we have only four ways to finish it. So altogether we have 20 different arrangement. The alternative way of this kind of questions, we can write as the total number of arrangement is same as the five factorial divided by the three factorials. Basically, it means that we have five choices, but in the end, we have three choices left unused. As we can see here, we have three unpicked choices. So if we simplify this one, we will have the same answer, which is five times four, 20 arrangement. So now we're going to learn how to write down the permutation notations for these kind of situations. So like just now, P means the permutations where the order do matters, N means the number of choices, and R means how many that we're going to pick. So like just now, we can write as the permutations of five cartoons and we pick two. And the formula is going to be how many choices? Five choices. And five minus two, because why? We have three items that is left unpicked, right? So this is why we have five factorial divided by three factorials. This is how you use the notation for no repetitions, and we have no identical object. It means that each of them is eventually unique. Like just now, we have no repeating cartoons there. One Pikachu, one SpongeBob, and one Minion. And don't forget, the exclamation marks means factorials. So now we're going to look at how can we write down in an easier way. Eventually, we can write down as NPRs. Means that how many available choices, and we're going to permute within how many slots. So they are no difference. Let us see how they works. So let's say we have five choices and we're going to pick two of them. So we can write as five choices and we permute within two slots. So five P two. So just by using the formula, we can find out that we have 20 different arrangements. So now let's say we have four choices, we're going to pick three. So we can write as four choices and we permute within three slots. So plug in into the formula and we can find out that we have 24 different arrangements. How about now we have six choices and we're going to pick four of them. So we can say that is six choices and we're going to permute within the four slots. So we can say that all together we have 
360 arrangement. So don't forget, when we say P, it means that the order do matters. This is the number of difference arrangement. Now we're going to learn how to use calculator to find the 5 permute 2. So let's press 5, shift times 2. This is how you get 5 permute 2 in your calculators. In order to find the factorials, we can just press 5, shift. Can you see this one? X power of negative 1. Just click it. This is what we call as a factorials. So you bracket 5 minus 2 again, shift factorials. And you get the same answer. For different calculators, the factory is at 5, shift. Here is your factorials. Click it. This is how you get your factorials. Let's look at some of the graphical representations. Find the number of ways these three marbles can be rearranged. So let's say this is the first, second, and third positions. So this is going to be the first arrangement. And we're going to swap the red and white color. And this is going to be our second arrangement. And we're going to swap again the blue and the white color. And here we go for the third arrangement. So these are the three different arrangements. Can we have more? Yes, we're going to swap again with the blue and red color. And this is going to be our fourth arrangement. And we're going to swap again with the red and white color. And here we go for our fifth arrangement. And now we go for the final one, blue and white. And this is going to be our sixth arrangement. So indeed, they tell us that the three factorials, the formula is going to be works fine. Three factorials. 3 times 2 times 1, indeed will give us the 6th arrangement. Or we say that we have 3 choices, we're going to shift around with 3 slots, which will tell us that it's 6th arrangement all together. Hey, if you have any questions or would like to see any kind of video, do leave your comments below and let me know. If you want to support us so that we could make more videos like this, the simplest way is just by sharing the video with your friends. Click the like buttons and consider subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.